Hello, welcome back to control. I want to see what that does. Okay, fast travel or outfit, so yeah. Oh, he's over there. I don't think it worked. Yeah, she's dead. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. There's nothing over there. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the Hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Oh, there are no stupid questions. Okay. The door to the comms. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the hotline should be in the communications department. Okay. Start with that. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. 
The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Okay, what's the oldest house? You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. And uh, your former director? This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Uh, what are those objects of power? Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? Mm -hmm. This is all, well, new <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. She didn't get it. <laughs> so, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Okay, so we know we're gonna come back to her. Where do we go? Oh... Okay. Can I somehow? Oh, I think it shows me where to go. What's up? There it is again. Our welcome message. Assets. Oh, I don't have clearance level. Okay. And this is Zarak Trench. Wait, we have. We don't? Yeah, we have. It's photograph. Oh, and this is his. Okay, okay. So it means we can go in. Yeah. No, you don't. So I want to. Oh, we can modify our weapon. 
Health recovery per armor. Give me that. Grip. Uh, accuracy plus limit while on health. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use that a lot, I guess. This is the following Nevada accommodation. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What the? <gasps> I'm not quite sure whether that was... What sound glitch was on purpose on or not. Over there? No, okay. I don't know whether it's... Very red. Of course there's more, so more than... Whoa! God damn it! Can you crowd or something? Oh, thank you. That's what I've been missing. His barrier? Show me that. His barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bu bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered of following them. First, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance res sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the his entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the his? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the his? To what degree is it watching and planning? Health, please? Well, it sounds as if we're... Yeah, the thing scared me. We're supposed to go over there. Which we will, which we'll do. Okay, it's if there's under control. Mm. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Whoa, this guy is something new. What? He's bucking up? Okay, let's recharge. I see another one. Okay, I think we are done. There's so over here. Thank you. Weapon armor damage. Who did you give me that earlier? Damage against enemy armor. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. A sinking fish? I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk for the to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs, says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely.
Another material. I don't think there's anything over here. Is that ah! Greetings, Director Trench. I would like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the postal service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the error Erroneous ones will allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you! Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Yes, I am really hesitant <laughs> of going over there. Well, I guess we should be okay now. I hope we are okay now. What the? There was another one. Yeah, I remember it. That's dangerous. <laughs> okay, where is it? For not really, where is it? No, somewhere there? Oh, what's that? Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Okay. A telekinetic floppy disk. Communications. We're on the right track. But I think... Ugh. Okay, I have no idea whether we need to go up or stay on this floor. No, there's nothing in the toilet. No methics. Oh, there's. Floppy? We need to cleanse it. Okay. Okay, crouch to go. Now you are teaching me how to crouch. Thank you. How can we get over there? I don't need to go. 
here, I think. I like, I really like how it interacted with raising. <laughs> to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay. It's not really it's yeah I had to burst again. Oh, you want me to do that? Okay. Oh, I can change the perspective. Okay, that's nice. No, I keep pressing R. Thank you like this. Thank you. Ooh, double shot. God damn it. Nope. Remember there was another one over here. Unless he died. No, he didn't. like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to kill him. Whoa, that was very effective indeed. I heard something. I hear him, but I can't really place him. Over there. I like this new power. You. I guess it's over there. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Can I? And the case. I don't see any doors. No, we can't go through here. Or maybe she didn't mean the mail per se? Because how?
Oh, the mailroom's over there. Yeah. Oh, someone died here. Mailroom over there. Mailroom. I do not like that. Oh. This must open the door. Ooh. Oh, and there's another audio? No. The shame. Oh, it had criminal level one. Okay. They can fly now. They can. Oh. Right. Of course, of course. Maybe I should use one of his fingers. Oh no, no, he's been hit. I don't know why, but it's so hard for me to read this. How do I feel? When I, whenever I get hit, I just don't feel it. Of course, everything goes red, but no, it's red as it is. And I had the exact same problem with Quantum Break. <laughs> Everything just kept going red, and that was it. Is he? Oh, no, he's not up there. They can fly now. Okay, ouch. Come on, summon your stuff. And now. So. Can I just shoot you? Yeah, I can. Too much. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one. So I need to... That was a mistake. Where is he? Kill you on my terms. Or I'll try. I have a feeling he'll be back. Yeah, probably. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Oh, hotline chamber. Actually, I think this is a fairly good place to end this part. For what have been going on for half an hour? So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon while I'll look for this place. Bye!